everybody. I'm actually here doing a recipe. I would call it a cooking video, but I'm not cooking. So, Dad saw this recipe. I'll show you. He saw this recipe in a magazine. He wants this one. It's called, it's the cake. It's called Easy Boston Cream Pie. And for this, you're going to need one and a half cups of cold half and half cream, a package of vanilla pudding, instant pudding, a loaf of frozen pound cake, three-fourths of a cup of confectioner sugar, two tablespoons of baking cocoa, and four to five teaspoons of hot water. So, um, the first step for me to do is to I gotta take the pound cake and cut it into thirds. You will see. I'll be right back. So I don't have a cameraman. This might not be the best cooking, non-cooking video you've ever seen. Okay, I have an old plate that's gonna be the platter for this. And the Sara Lee cake, I've had it out thawing since we got home from shopping. So hopefully it'll be thawed enough. Pound cake. And you're supposed to cut it three layers lengthwise, so I'll be back when I'm done doing that. Okay, here's the pound cake I've cut into three layers. You'll see how that will come into effect later, but that's your first step. Okay, next you want to take a cup and a half of half and half. A cup. and a half, which is pretty much this whole thing. Still a little bit left. And the package of instant pudding, just the mix. You pour it in the bowl and then you whisk that together. I'm actually just gonna use my fork and whisk it together. So I shall be back when this is all done. After you get it whisked together, you wanna, um, let it stand for about five minutes. Okay, I have it whisked and it looks like a thick pudding and I'm gonna let it sit aside and set up. It just says for about five minutes, so. We shall return again. While the pudding is setting up, just take two tablespoons of baking cocoa. I'm just winging it. It looks like two tablespoons to me. Maybe a little bit more. Um, brand new bag. And three or fourths of a cup of confectioner sugar. And you just want to kind of mix those two together. And then you're going to add some warm water to it a little bit at a time until it becomes like a... a like a glaze. Maybe I should have used a bigger bowl, but we're going to just keep it in this one. But I'm going to go get my hot water and um, I'll do that after I get the cake all put together. Okay, before I make the glaze, I got to... Ooh, this is nice and firmed up nicely. I need to put half of the pudding on this layer I think dad's gonna like this then you put the middle piece of cake on And then you put the rest of the pudding on. There we go. And then we put the top on. 
Now it's time to make the glaze. Okay, now you start adding tablespoons of water. It says it takes between four and five, but I'm going to put in like three, stir it up a little bit. It says just to add water until it comes to the consistency of a glaze. Here's where I shall speed up the video. Okay, I think I got it. It's like a it's like a glaze, a chocolate thick glaze. Now what you do is you just put it on the top and let it drizzle over the sides of the cake. And you're ready to serve, but I'm gonna stick it in the refrigerator for when dad comes home. So I'm hoping this will taste okay. I don't know why it wouldn't. You really didn't have to, you, you didn't really have to do this much chocolate sauce. But I followed the recipe people. It said to cover the top and just let it go down the sides. So that's what I'm doing. So there you go. The <laughs> Boston cream pie cake. It looks like it's drowning in chocolate, but you know, chocolate ain't bad. So, an easy dessert.